So, all right, YouTube, we are back for round five. We're three and one. We just beat Miracles, so hopefully we can keep it going. I'm going to grab my um, glasses before I forget. Avocado Toast. It's playing against Andrew Tendrum. Very good magic player. I don't really have any idea what he's on. This hand would be so good on the play, but we're going to keep it. We're not really going to have a good time to play with this stifle. Hopefully, we can do it at some point, but. Okay. Just going to play Delver. Real forcible. You're going to tap my red land. I'm going to play Misty Rainforest to bolt mom. Might plow my plow my Delver. Okay. I'm going to play Bob. Like if he's got Plow, Vile, and Mom on a mold of six. Then, like, good for you. This is a Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Even another Plow. Stone Forge Mystic. Phyrexian Revoker, okay. Okay. I kind of just want to clear the board. Before I get like hit with anything next turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna clear the board. So I don't want to get like flicker wisped. I could have left up stifle, but So if I attack, I probably have to stifle this vile trigger. Oh shoot, I meant to ponder. Let me ponder first. I don't know if I'm going to stifle this vile trigger or not. Yeah, we're going to shuffle those. Ponder one more time. So am I stifling this? I probably should have forced this jet. I think I'm stifling this.
I didn't sequence this turn very quickly. I thought when I played the pond, the Delver, I clicked on Ponder, but I messed up. Is it just time walk and we can get away with this when we're drawing two cards a turn? Gonna daze this. So I'll click Bob first because we reveal Stifle. Okay, so here comes Flicker Wisp. Recruit of the Guard, okay. I'm just going to attack with both, offer the trade so they can't suit up Umuzawa's Jitte next turn because we have another Bob. Okay. I have to keep a creature off the board. Oh, that's gross. Should have played my other land too, damn it. Oh, we're on the edge. So the last card is Recruiter. They can buy a Recruiter and go get Mom and play Mom. Jesus. I'm going to offer the Bob trade. Probably goes against Flicker Wisp. Man, this was unfortunate. So I just killed both my creatures. Now I'm dead. Yeah, just flooded out.
That sucks. Okay. Well, if I keep the creature off the battlefield, I time walk him, right? Kept one of these in, and then I got my stifles. Hey, Teddy. All right, we're going to play Pyromancer. Should have brainstormed to give myself more information. We just use the plow. I think the bob's better. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? Long time, no talk. I hope that West is treating you well. He already used. A plow. Yeah, that's that is ridiculous. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. 
play right in the middle of the lazy challenge right now. So I might be a little bit, um, might mess you a little bit there. Miss, miss what you're saying because I'm trying to focus, but I'll catch up on it in between the games for sure. I will catch you, Elliot. Don't you worry about it. A really good turn here with the old bolt plus bitter blossom, but like this Umazawa's Jurgit eats through this bitter blossom. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what he's doing. He's probably double queuing. We're playing against Andrew Tenjin, so it's probably double queuing. I've been good, Elliot. Got a dog since you left. Uh, you might have been here when I had him. But I don't know if you've seen him or not. But got a dog. Phil's been great. Okay, Delver. That's a pretty nice draw. And then, that gives us a super smooth turn. I could just go Bob Bolt Delver, which sounds pretty awesome. And hopefully we can just like bury, find ways to deal with this Umazawa's Jitty. He's taking a nap now. He usually comes and checks it out in between rounds. I think I'm just going to play Bob. Like, I need to find a way to deal with this Jet or kill all of his creatures, and the Bitter Blossom is just going to get eaten up by Umazawa's Jitty. I wanted to keep up appearances, and I had plenty of mana. Because he's just going to eat, this Jitte is going to eat Bitter Blossom alive. And I want to continue drawing cards to try to get ahead of the creatures. Yeah, it's game two. I'm down a game. Thank you, everybody, coming over from Zach's stream. Zach's the man. I hope your stream went well, Zach. I want to hold on to this brainstorm also. Because, like, this brainstorm is going to be even better once I draw more cards off Bob. Because I'm going to, like, be able to have more selection. I feel like they, do they even, I don't even know if they all play Cataclysm anymore. I haven't been Cataclysmed in a hot minute. And if he cataclysms me, he cataclysms me. No, I want to brainstorm after. I could stack it so all my Bob triggers go first. Because I want, I want, I want like the extra cards before I brainstorm. So I might put Delver on the stack last and then draw my cards off Bob and then do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put Delver on the stack first so it resolves last. Draw my cards off Bob and then see what we're doing here.
This jet is just gonna eat my board alive though. Now we've only got one force in our deck. We only have one card in our deck that's over that's over three mana. So like I'm not really we're at 21, I'm not really worried about it. I need to be able to answer like every single creature or find an abrade for this Umazawa's Jurgit. Or I'm gonna get browned. There's the Jurgit. Okay. So we're going to put Bo Delver on the stack first. So that it resolves last. Balk. Diabolic Edict. Now I want my Delver to flip. And I have to keep the land. All these are great. So I'm going to cast Diabolic Edict this turn for sure. I want to deal myself the least amount of damage with Bob next turn. So I'm just going to put back Ponder Thoughtseize. I'm going to put back. I'm going to put back Ponder. I'm going to put back Ponder then Edict. Edict my opponent and attack. So we only take one off one of the Bob triggers. So ponder, then edict. Flip my Delver. Play a land. Diabolic edict you. Serve. Take it easy, Elliot. It was nice talking to you. Flicker Wisp to bounce my Delver. Well, there's a Ponder on top of my deck, so I need to stack the Bob's last. So I have to stack the Bob's last and do Delver. And you put Bob's on the stack first and then do Delver. So put Bob's on the stack first and then do Delver. We flip the Ponder. We're doing this because we know our top card. Thank you, Mr. Schultz. I like your plays. I'm going to just attack all out here, if I, even if I don't find a way to kill this Wisp, because I just want, I can't let them crack me with Jurgit. No, I'm not. So do I play Pyromancer first? Wasteland, Pyromancer, Ponder, then I can't abrade. How is this going to go? I attack with them to seven. 
then they can't really attack me back unless they have something else to do. I don't think the token's going to matter that much. But, like, I'm going to play the Pyromancer first. Because this gives me one look at... And we can play another land, so even a Braids and out. Alright, there we go. And I can waste this port. Okay. Next card coming was a bolt. Okay. So we want a couple more forces on the draw. Like it's likely my Diabolic Edicts aren't as good. These Dazes are kind of medium on the draw. But like we don't have a lot of blue cards. So high color. 21 blue cards isn't a lot. 22 I guess. 22 is okay. I think I'm just going to go like this. Like, I don't want to change too much. The Diabolic Edicts might be kind of a meme on the draw. Thanks, uh, Raymond. I think this is what we're going to do. Orange cuts Wasteland when I have like that many two drops. Wasteland making mana is good in this matchup. At least I think it is. Okay, so his hand has a turn two Bitter Blossom, and has a Static Caster, and has a lot of mana. My opponent Mulligan, I can get through their mana denial plan. I think I'm going to keep this hand. Like, it's not great, but, like, this card is really, really good. This card's pretty solid, and we can, like, not get Wastelanded out of the game. No turn one play is great. Another land is not really what we're looking for. Okay. So I'm going to draw the Lightning Bolt. I'm going to draw the Delver this turn and then draw the Lightning Bolt next turn. Then draw the Brainstorm last. Ideally flip my Delver, but give myself the option not to. Yeah. Deal. I'm just going to jam a Bitter Blossom here. Like, they're telegraphing. Telegraphing that they have... We're going to shuffle our Brainstorm away, which kind of sucks, but... I think they're telegraphing um, interaction here, and I just want to get this... Start working this. Like the Brainstorm would have been nice, but I think we... I like. I think we kind of sink their mana here. Okay.
They have a mom to put in. I can deal with it. I likely should just bolt. I think I'm going to ponder first. Jesus. Do I need another electricity? Or do I just go wasteland them, bolt this thing? Or do I just play my Delver? I kind of like just going bolt this. I think I'm going to shuffle and go bolt this, play Delver pass. The electricity is great, but we just have so much removal that I would like to find a true name nemesis. Um, or something like that. No mom. Yes. No mom, baby. Well, we've got the static caster. The static caster will handle mom. Okay, so we're going we're getting that double port action. I will reveal ponder. I'm going to flash in my static caster. Path to exile. Okay. No. I want this. I'm not going to ponder. I'm going to leave up lightning bolt. Because if this is a Stoneforge Mystic, I want to bolt it. Okay. We could have gotten beaten up if that was a Thalia. No, wait, not even. That's a sick draw. Oh man, we are doing it. Bolt this. And then I can attack. If they go to put in Flicker Wisp, I can just bolt it again, zap the Flicker Wisp, and then waste. I want to start attacking. So I'm going to bolt this. Is attacking worth it? Or is it better to like upkeep this? I think it's probably better to upkeep it. The two damage doesn't really matter. So I'm going to play my Wasteland. I'm going to waste this. Now, I want to get my beat down on, I think, because it because it, it, it spirals out of control.
I kind of want to just start attacking. But I guess that's loose. Yeah, I think I want to bolt now. And, like, I want to just bolt. If they respond, bring in Flicker Wisp. I can then re-bolt. And then I can kill the Flicker Wisp. Because it's two, then three, then four. Because I, I either need to kill my opponent. No, I think they're double queuing. I think that's what Mr. Tenjin is doing. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're back. Wow, that resolved. Okay, I think the top card of my deck is a Ponder, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. I think it's good, though. Yeah. Okay, we cannot let a creature get on the battlefield. So we can fetch to ponder. At least the fairies check the sword, but like... Jesus. 
This is just fine, I think, because like we can just start hard casting Force of Will if we need to. So I'm going to attack him with my guys. I probably should have played my Pyromancer, actually. Definitely should have played my Pyromancer. Definitely should have played my Pyromancer! I'm definitely going to shuffle away the dames. And I'm going to play my land to give myself the option to shuffle away the force. I think I'm going to shuffle away the force. Yeah, I'm just going to shuffle away my force now. Uh, we're ahead. 3-1 and we're ahead in game three. Okay, we drew days, which isn't great. That protects us from a hard cast batter skull, which is nice. So he's dead. He's dead unless he draws a creature. Is he dead on the board? We're still three and one. I think we're about to be four one. I beat I played against Anzi last round, Lawrence. And I stifled a what is this? What is this? What punishes me here? What punishes me? Sanctum Prelate. If he puts in a Sanctum Prelate, does that punish me? We have plenty of time. So, if he goes Prelate, what makes sense for him to be putting into play right now? Um... I don't think Flicker Wisp matters. Flicker Wisp's a token, blocks a token, we get him for five and bolt him. So we can beat, we beat Flicker Wisp. We beat Mirror and Crusader. Prelate is the annoying one. But I can also just bolt. They can bolt down to five. Yeah. So I think I just let it go, right? Or do I just bolt my opponent, make two tokens, and call it? The 
problem is the jet could get difficult. All right, we'll save it. Brightling. So now we just bolt the Brightling. The Brightling gains lifelink though. But they get the Brightling gains lifelink. Oh, it doesn't fly. I've never played against this card. It doesn't fly. One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't fly. Brightling gains vigilance. Brightling gains light link. Okay, good. Yeah. We got him. Bolt you. I need to make sure that I attack with five fairies this turn. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby.